Setting up TypeScript in a Node.js project can feel overwhelming, but what if you could do it the right way from the start? In this video, I'll walk you through the essential setup to ensure your project is scalable, type safe, and developer friendly. Hi, my name is Alex. I'm a senior software engineer with years of experience in JavaScript and Node.js. My goal is to help you become a confident and stress-free developer by increasing your skills and proficiency. Let's get started. I am in VS Code in an empty folder, TypeScript Node.js project setup. Let's initialize the project with npm init-y. Now let's install TypeScript dependencies with npm install TypeScript at types node at tsconfig node 22 with a save that flag. Besides TypeScript and at types node, we're also installing tsconfig node 22 base to extend our TypeScript configuration. Currently, Node 22 is the latest LTS or long-term support version of Node. If you are running a different Node version, you should install a different TS config base. To check other config bases, you can go to whatisconfig.json section of TypeScript documentation and scroll down to TS config bases section. There is a GitHub link to TS config bases. We can click on it and select bases folder in the GitHub repository. There you can see all the TypeScript bases that are available for other TypeScript projects. Let's go ahead and create tsconfig.json file in the root of our project. We will extend tsconfig uh, node 22 base. In the compiler option, we will specify output and root directories. We will also add set force consistent casing file name to true. This setting is especially useful in cross-platform development, ensuring that the project works the same way on both Windows, which is case insensitive, and Linux or Mac OS, which are case sensitive. Include option specifies which files TypeScript should include in the compilation process. We will include all the files in the SRC folder. By default, TypeScript includes all the .ts and .tsx files when compiling the project. If you want to exclude certain files, you can use exclude option. By default, if exclude is not specified, TypeScript will automatically ignore node modules, bower components, and our dir if specified in compiler options. Exclude option is usually useful to exclude files from already included ones. In other words, it removes files from include option. For example, we can exclude tests folder and all the files it contains from the SRC folder with an option exclude. Besides include and exclude options, there is also an option called files. This option allows to manually list files to compile. For example, we can use files option to specifically compile index.ts file and utils.ts file. If files option is specified, TypeScript ignores include and exclude options. In our case, we will just use include option and include all the files in the SRC folder. We will create this folder in a minute. Let's first install more tools. But before we do that, if you're enjoying this video and learning something new, please click that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. The next tool that we will install is just testing library, because modern projects should include testing. We can install just with npm install just TS jest and types a jest with a save dev flag. We will be writing tests in a TypeScript, so besides an actual testing library, we will need a types jest. And to test our TypeScript project, we will be using TS jest preprocessor. Let's create a jest.config.mgs configuration file in the root of our project and put the following code in there. In this config file, we're specifying TS jest as a preset, telling jest that we will be testing node. JS project and letting just know where to look for our test files with roots option. This speeds up a test file discovery, especially for large projects. We use TS just to transform TypeScript files and tell just to run files specified by test rejects. Module file extensions ensures just can correctly resolve and execute test files. Okay, testing setup is taken care of. Now let's configure ESLint and Pretier. If you are working in VS Code, you may want to install ESLint and Prettier plugins. They will help you a lot. Uh, for the project itself, let's initialize ESLint with the following command, npm init ESLint uh, config at latest. And select an option to check syntax and find problems. Use common JS module and none of the frameworks. Our project does use TypeScript, so we select yes and also select that the code is running in Node.js. 
When prompted to install dependencies, we'll select npm and say yes. Finally, let's install Prettier. I like to use Prettier together with the ESLint, so we'll install the following dependencies with npm. Besides Prettier library itself, we will install ES plugin Prettier and ESLint config Prettier to run ESLint with Prettier. Also, while we're at it, let's install ESLint plugin just so ESLint correctly links the test files. Now let's update eslint.config.mgs file. We will remove its contents and put the following code. We are using the new flatconfig file for eslint. If you want to dive deeper, uh, you can check out my video about eslint and prettier in TypeScript project. To summarize, the configuration objects are merged, and if two of the config objects have the same configuration properties, the latest overrides the earliest one. We basically configure linting for Node.js and TypeScript and appropriate link configuration for Jest. We also define rules section where most of the time you will be turning off ESLint rules that will get in your way. At the end, we put ESLint plugin Prettier recommended so it will override certain config options and allow ESLint to work with Prettier. We're all set. Now let's add SRC folder with card.ts file and a test for the code in that file. Let's create card.ts file in src folder. In this file, we will put the following code. We will create a product interface and a function that calculates total price. Now, in order to run this code, we will uh, create index.ts file also in the src folder and put the following code in there. We will import calculate total price function and product interface from the card module, define a card array that contains product objects, Finally, we will run calculate total price function and log out the output. So pretty straightforward. Now let's create a test for calculate total price function. In the SRC test folder, let's create a file called card.test.ts and put the following code. Very much like in index.ts file, we will import calculate total price and product from card module. In the handler of the test function called it, or you can call it test, uh, we will define a card and run calculate total price function on this card. After that, we will use just expect and a matcher to be to check that the card calculations are correct. Now let's go into package.json file and configure it to run our code and the tests. In the scripts section of the package.json file, we define test script to run Jest. We will also define a build script that will run TSC to build the TypeScript project. And finally, let's also create a lint script to run linting with ESLint. Let's try it out. First, let's run npm run test command. Looks like our test is passing. Now let's check if our project is properly styled and formatted with npm run lint. Looks like the project passes the linting as well. Finally, let's run the code in the project itself. First, we need to build it with a npm run build. After the build is done, we can run it with node dist index.js. And we got total price logged out in the console. Of course, while developing, building and running the project files can be a lot of work, but we can automate this process with a TS watch. TS watch is basically an old one for TypeScript. Let's go ahead and install it with npm. While we are at it, let's also install .env CLI to load environment variables from .env file during development. I'm not going to dive into how to use environment variables during development in this video. However, we will set up the project so you can use them in the future. So in package.json file, let's add the dev script. It will use uh, .env CLI to load env variables and TSC watch to watch, rebuild and run the project files when uh, files change. Let's go ahead and run npm run dev. We got total price logged out and also TC watch is watching the files for changes. In card.cs file in calculate total price function, let's put 100 instead of zero in reduce function. After we save the changes, the project is rebuilt and total price now is 100 greater than it was. Let's put the starting value in reduce function back to zero. And now the card total is calculated correctly again. We successfully automated rebuilding of the TypeScript project. As a final touch, let's configure Git, because you will need to version control your project and push it to a repository. Let's create that gitignore file in the root of our project. In this file, let's put dist node modules and .env. These files and folders will be ignored by Git. 
Next, let's run git init to initialize git repository. And finally, let's create our first commit with command git add space dot and git commit with m flag and a message in initial commit. We're all set. Now you can create a Git repository on GitHub or other Git-based resource code repository hosting service and push your project. And that's the wrap for the video. With this TypeScript setup, you should have a solid foundation for your Node.js TypeScript projects. In this video, we haven't covered how to handle project configuration variables. This topic deserves a separate video in itself. And if you would like to learn how to properly handle environment variables in your project, please check out this video next.